You sure you want to do this? I'm sure. I mean, you said it's harmony tradition, so far be it for me to break a tradition. Okay. This is it. This is it? This is the place where we can find out if we're meant to be together forever or not? I don't believe this. This is a joke, right? No. <laughs> Timmy, we have to get that bottle back. Maybe that'll work. Take care of I can't. I won't do it. Yes, my son, fight it. What did you say? Fight the evil. If you give in to the evil and do its bidding, you will destroy yourself in the process. I remember you from the book cafe. Your voice is very distinctive. Uh, I, I don't know. I warned you at the cafe. Heed my warnings, my son, or evil will destroy you. Oh, with all due respect, I'm not your son, Padre. Of course. I recognize your voice now. You're Alistair Crane's son, Julian. Oh, what is this, some bizarre new game? Who's your daddy? Jest if you must. But you cannot hide your real soul from God. Even now, your father is up to evil, intent on ruining lives in harmony. So what else is new? Get rid of that information immediately. Dr. Russell cannot see the last page. Delete, delete, delete! I'm doing everything I can, Mr. Crane. That's not enough. If you don't stop Eve from seeing this information, I will destroy you. I hear you, Mr. Crane. Eve Russell can never read the results of Chad Harris's DNA match. She must never find out who his real parents are. Mom, what's wrong? Why don't you just scroll down? Dr. Seuss said it won't take a minute. It's just a shortcut, Eve. There's no need to read hundreds of matches when you can just read the summary at the end. Yes, I know. I don't know what I was thinking. This is it, y'all. To find out who my parents are. Come on, Mom, let's see who they are. serious what's wrong this is where we're supposed to go to find out if we're ready to make a commitment to be together forever that's right <laughs> sally chin's house of noodles it's a harmony tradition every happy couple that i've known that's had a successful relationship has come here and passed a test a chinese restaurant best in the east coast all right this test i mean what happens if we don't pass it? No, we will. No sweat. I wish I were that positive. I quit worrying. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just that I mean, what we have, our relationship, it means everything to me. Yeah. It means everything to me, too. You know, Luis, it's just that you've always had love in your life. 
You know, your family, they've always been so supportive and caring. I've never had that kind of love. I mean, you know my family. It's cold and distant. Except for my mother. She died when I was so young. And this love that we have, it's terribly precious to me. And if I were to find out that I wasn't going to have it forever, I don't think I could bear it. Well, you don't have to worry about that. All the same, I, I think I'd rather pass on the restaurant. Just hold on to my illusions. You know, just keep on pretending that this love that we have will go on forever. and send it back to us, Timmy. Timmy Storm wonder if Timmy Tubby really should get the ball back. <sighs> stop wondering and start thinking of a way to help. <sighs> it's just after what Hecuba did to Timmy earlier. Timmy, what's happened to you? What? Why is Tabitha looking at Timmy like that? <gasps> what happened? What the heck you been doing to me now? Oh no, Timmy. You're a goat. A goat? What the heck you been doing to me? <gasps> oh no. What, Tabitha? What the heck you been doing to me now? Maybe she'll just float away and a great white shark will swallow her up. Oh, pity the poor shark that eats that one. Now, it's up to us, Timmy. We have to get that bottle back and make sure that Hecuba stays trapped inside it if she gets out. Oh, I hate to think of all the horrible things that'll happen. Timmy doesn't want to think about it. <sighs> She'll destroy us. Timmy said he didn't want to think about it. <sighs> oh, we've got to get that bottle back and put it somewhere safe where she can never get out. <laughs> Someone will come along and find this bottle, become curious as to what's inside, pop the cork, and release me! And when that happens, it will be your last and your worst day on Earth! <laughs> oh, oh <my> love. Fingernails <laughs> down the platform! <laughs> If we don't get that bottle back to me, we're done for. Let's forget about your father for the moment. <laughs> now who's jesting? One doesn't forget about Alistair Crane. Even for a heartbeat, he won't allow it. Alistair has lost his way, but it is not too late for you, Julian. You can be saved. You must. <laughs> what was that? Evil. It is here in harmony. You must resist its bidding. If you don't, it will destroy you. This is a bit too bizarre. <laughs> you can run from evil, but if it is in your soul, it will find you. Evil is here in harmony. I can sense its presence. Please, Lord, protect the people here in harmony. Help the people that I love. Guide them. Show them your way so they can make the right decisions in their lives. Decisions that will keep evil at bay. Of this DNA test is going to change my life. 
I think that when we find out who your parents are, it's going to change both our lives. Look at her, Sam. Her hands are shaking. Mom, we're all nervous for Chad. No, Sam, there's something more. She's trying to hide something. Oh, come on, TC. Sam, the fact that she and Julian are Chad's parents. Look, I don't believe it. Because you don't want to, all right? But I got a feeling. Look how she's acting. She was so reluctant to find Chad's DNA test results. Are you sure you're not imagining this? Sam, I overheard her have a conversation with Julian about a baby. What, what's so unusual about that? Come on, they both have children. Sam, it just wasn't a normal conversation, all right? I can't explain it. But look, look at her now. Look, she's nervous. And don't tell me she's nervous just because of Chad. I know it's hard, Eve, but you've got to keep it together. I'm so worried, Grace. If Chad is my son, there's no telling what TC might do. Look, it's not too late. You can still tell TC the truth. Before he sees it on the computer. But what if I'm wrong? I mean, what if Chad isn't my son? Then everything could just go back to the way it was. I could just have my family, TC and the girls. What is taking you so long? It's not me, it's the computer. No excuses, damn it. Destroy the information. Eve Russell must never see it. I'm doing everything I can, I swear, but like I said... If she sees the results of that DNA match, all will be lost. Wait a minute. I know how we can prevent Eve from seeing the last page of the report. Now listen to me, this is what I want you to do. But people could die. I don't care who dies. All I care about is saving the Crane Empire. Now do what I told you. Forget about illusions. We got reality here. I love you and I'm not about to stop loving you anytime soon. I know that. It's just that what if we were to take this crazy test and fail? I, mean, I, I don't know how I would react, how I would feel. Right, I'm look, so afraid of losing you. you. Sure. You gotta trust me about one thing. I would never do anything to hurt you. I do believe And the that. only reason that I even suggested coming here is because we were talking about when a couple knows that they're ready to commit to each other, and I thought this would be fun. You're right. I, I guess I'm just being silly. No, no, I, I, If you're worried, we'll just... And we'll turn around, we'll go. Right. You really think we can pass this test? I'm positive. But if it makes you feel uncomfortable. You are such an incredibly caring man. It, it's amazing how understanding you are. I love you. You come first, I just want you to be happy. It's been a long time since anyone cared about my happiness. Not since Mother died. But you know what? I'm letting fear rule my life, and that is truly silly. So let's get in there and ace this test. No doubt. Nary one. I want to see if we're ready to commit to each other. And right, let's go see Sally. <laughs> Why isn't it erasing? That idiot of an intern. I'll have him flayed. Once Eve gets to the last page, you'll see you've been worrying about nothing. She sure has taken her time. For pity's sake, get rid of it now! The next page is the last, Eve. Stop her! No one can see that information! What if somebody dies? I don't give a damn! Kill the power at the hospital right now! Okay. I can turn off the power through my computer. I don't care how you do it, just do it! Yes, sir. Right... now. What is going on? Uh, what happened? Power out. There's a backup system, right? 
for the OR and ICU. That's it kicking in now. The computer's down. Well, what about all the information on the computer? It's not lost, is it? The power outage didn't erase the files, right? Well, just like that, in a split second, it's all gone? No, 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 that can't be right. The DNA results have to still be in there. It has to be. Nice place. Oh, food's good. Now here's a familiar face. Hallelujah. Sally. Mm. Two for dinner? Yeah. And something a little more. Oh, the noodle. You came for the noodle. Please, follow me. What's she talking about? What noodle? Uh, you'll see. So, how many times have you been here? How many other women have taken this test with you? Oh. Luis has been here countless times. But never has he brought such a beautiful woman, and never has he been here with someone for a test. You must be a very special lady for Louise to want to take the test with. She is. I can see there's something very deep between you. I think the test will be a mere formality. I can tell you right now, she's the woman for you, and ready to make a commitment. And you two will be together forever. Floating away, Timmy. Oh, no. She's floating away. Oh, blaster! She's getting away from us, Timmy. The bottle has sailed away with the tide. Oh, what are Timmy and Jerry going to do? Hope, lad. Hope that Hecuba does not get out of that bottle. But what if it wasn't sure? And somebody finds it. Uh, it'd be calamitous to me. Because then Hecuba would be able to, to mine all the evil in that person's soul and then have them retaliate against us. Oh, why did Tell they have to drop the bottle in the first place? Or I suppose she could decide to amuse herself and have the poor soul cause complete chaos and utterly disrupt life in harmony. Oh, oh. Timmy would not want to be the person who found that bottle. What is Father up to? What do the priests know about it? On the other hand, who cares? Father's always up to something, and I'm beyond caring. Except when it comes to Sheridan. One thing I refuse to do kill my own sister. Oh, Julian Crane. What better pawn for my plan? <laughs> oh, you're perfect. That ludicrous arrogance of yours is just what the witch doctor ordered. <laughs> but first things first. Number one, I have to get you to pick up my bottle. And then we'll see just what evil lurks in that heart of yours. <laughs> Who's there? God, I'm hearing things. Julian! What's going on? Look down, you idiot! Did someone say something? Look down, you fool! What the hell? Hmm. What's that? First, when I do that, pick up a piece of flotsam and throw it back. No! You you can't throw it back, you! You 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 can't! It's too pretty! No. It's 
too pretty. I can't throw it back. <clears throat> Perhaps it's valuable. Mm -hmm. Sunken ship. Spanish. Galleon blown off course and wrecked on the rocks at the outer approach to the bay, yes. There could be a fortune out there. Pieces of eight. Gold bullion from the New World. Priceless Incan artifacts from Peru. A born romantic. This little amphora could be worth a fortune. Amphora? It's a bottle. Circa 2001, made from recycled glass. However, I do admire your greed. Yes, it will make it so much easier to get you to do my bidding. <laughs> it took you long enough to shut the power off, but at least it's done. I hope none of the patients... Never mind that. There's more to do. We have to go a step further. Now we must keep Eve from ever seeing the results of the DNA match. That data has to be destroyed forever. Okay. I'll start working on it. Now! Yes, sir. Well, what about the other patients? The one who aren't in ICU or OR? And no problem. Auxiliary power will kick in any minute. That's full power? Like we never lost it. There. Oh, great. So, what's wrong? Why isn't it... When I said power was restored, I meant the basic hospital service. Only the patient floors have full power. This room is only for research. We'll have the emergency lighting, but nothing else. Not to worry, Chad. As soon as we can, we'll crank up another DNA search. You'll get your results, one way or another. See the way that TC is looking at me. Do you think that he suspects? Oh God, do you think he knows? You still haven't told me what this test is. Well, it sounds kind of off the wall, but it works. You know, my mother and father came here and took the test before they were married. And Lauren Martin took the test? Yeah, so obviously it works. But your father... Disappeared? Yeah, well... He didn't leave his family because he wanted to. That's for damn sure. Julian and Alistair were behind it. And I could have proved it if Julian hadn't shredded those files on my father or... If those pages weren't torn out of your mother's diary. Damn crates. I'm sorry. Look, I, I know that you still blame my family for your father's disappearance. Yeah, but I, I don't blame you. Hey, you know what? Forget about that, right? We are going to have a happy evening. We're going to pass this test with flying colors. I hope so. Look, I don't want you getting the wrong ideas about this test. I mean, even if you pass it, it doesn't mean you're not going to have problems in life. It just means you're ready for a commitment. Well, we are definitely going to have problems if you don't tell me what this test consists of. Well, uh... Not a whole lot, really. <laughs> See you for yourself. All set. What's this? Where's the test? This is it. The love noodle. Well... Whoever finds that bottle will be exposed to more evil than they could ever imagine. There'll be a pawn in Hecuba's reign of terror. <sighs> I wonder how much this little beauty's worth. Well, it's priceless to me. But there's something else going on here. Hmm. Would it be that I sense guilt? Oh, Julian, that would be most uncharacteristic for you. Let's have a look, shall we? The head of the 
Crane family has to be willing to do anything, including sacrificing their own. But father... And by the way, I don't just want you to kill Sheridan. I want you to kill Louise, too. Do whatever it takes. Just make sure both of them die. This is altogether perfect. A man contemplating murder. Killing his own sister to boot. <laughs> I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to blow Harmony apart. I'm... Wait a minute. Wait. Wait. I'm starting to sense something. What could it be? Yes. It's evil at the hospital. Julian's son. Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> Chaos will rule in harmony. <laughs> I'd better go check that everything's up and running. There's no way of stopping it. No way I can avoid the DNA search. The truth is going to come out. Yes, it is. It always does. There is evil here in Harmony, and it's just waiting to tear relationships apart. You need to tell TC the truth. It's the only way to save your marriage, to save your family. Will you at least try to calm down, please? Well, what good will that do, huh? Will it bring the power back up? Will it boot up the computer? The lights will be on soon. Huh? Well, when? It's just one thing after another. I mean, I get this close. Well, you know what? I'm through waiting. I'm gonna go see what's keeping the people from turning the power back on in here. You want to come? Yeah. Well, you got to have some idea. Well, if there's even a hint of sabotage... Right. All right. Well, you let me know. Right. Power company has no idea what happened. You can't even find the source of the outage. Sam, did you see that? What? Whitney and Chad, they left here holding hands like they were some couple. <sighs> Doesn't that beat everything? What if Chad is Eve's son? What is Whitney gonna do? You can't jump to that conclusion. Come on, Sam, think about it. What if she finds out she's falling for her half-brother? TC, come on, you're jumping all over the place here. Look, what you need is a few minutes to clear your head. Now let's go see if we can get the power back in this room so you can see for yourself that Eve and Julian aren't Chad's parents. way that TC looked at me. He's suspicious. I know it. Tell him, Eve. Tell him now. It's the time before he reads it on a computer screen. It's the only way you're going to save your marriage. Maybe you're right. Tell him before the power comes back on. Now. Yes, I, I will. Come on, TC. You're getting yourself worked up over nothing. You see, you get yourself worked up over nothing. Nothing? Sam, look at the two of them. There's no way that Eve could be Chad's mother. <sighs> Sam, you keep saying that, but I just got this feeling that Eve is hiding something. That she and Julian are Chad's parents. Look, you got to get that out of your mind. Now think about your family. Sam, if what I think is true, if Eve and Julian are Chad's parents, I won't have a Grace, what am I going to do? Oh, I'll lose everything. Oh, God, my whole life. I've thought of something else. I'm listening, Mr. Crane. You better be. In order to make certain that another search will fail, we must get rid of certain DNA matches. I'm already working on it, amending the earlier program. But you're too slow. The way this is poking along, Eve will almost certainly get a look at those results. And if she does, the Crane Empire will go up in flames, which would make me very angry. And that anger will be directed at one person, a certain intern. I can only do what the computer allows me to do, sir. Wrong answer. 
You will do what I demand you do, or you will wish you had never been brought into this world. What am I going to do, Grace? T.C. knows. You have to trust that he can handle the truth. But what if it turns out that Chad is... Oh, God, T.C. would just go mad with you to know what happened to my marriage because of Sam keeping a secret. I mean, it was a shambles. and It's the damnedest thing. We can't even trace the cause of the outage. But we've got all our electrical people working on it, so it shouldn't be too long before we're back to normal. Coach Bennett, Coach Russell, I got an idea. Hey, Dr. Stewart. Dr. Russell, I got an idea. What if we could get the power back to the computer? I just got through saying it shouldn't be too much longer. Yeah, but will the research still be there? Well, I can't imagine why it wouldn't be. We've got a backup file, so unless the system has been contaminated... Okay, then. We don't have to wait. I know a way to hook up the computer to some power. How? Well, I've done it before. See, at the shelter where I used to live, the city cut off our power, so I had to improvise. There was a building next door, so I just plugged this in over there, you know? Siphoned off their electricity. Oh, wait, you can't do that, Chad. Why not, Eve? Well, he might be taking power from, from patients who need it. He won't be. We're covered, you know that, Eve. There's a breaker box over there, Chad. All right, let's we'll see what we got over there. Is there some reason you don't want us to see what's on that computer, Eve? No. Of course not. Why would I want that? Oh, I don't know. But then again, I'm starting to realize there's a hell of a lot of things I don't know. This is the test of Noodle. This is how you know if you're going to be soulmates, if you're going to be together forever. Yes. The love noodle is an ancient customer in my family. If a couple can eat a noodle all the way to the middle without it breaking, and then finally meet for a kiss. Mm, very then... important, a kiss part. Mm. I'm sure Sheridan can handle that. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> and then you should pass the flying colors and be together forever. Now, Louise on this side. And Sheridan? When you meet in the middle all the way without it breaking, you'll be together forever. Oh, you forgot the kiss part. Oh, I won't forget. <laughs> I have a feeling this will work so well. You two will be married very soon. Sounds like my sister. <laughs> Your sister is a very wise woman. Now, eat. Hmm. I'll take this home, check on its value, see if there's any record of a galleon going down off Harmony. Hmm. Unlucky witch, Hecuba. Not only were you fished out of the water, the fisherman turns out to be a man of questionable morals. A man who would consider killing his own sister. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, indeed. Julian Crane is the perfect portal to evil. Spells cast through him will be amplified by his evil intentions. Oh. They'll go hither and yon, far and wide. No one in harmony will be able to hide. No. Please, I, no. I don't believe it. This has never happened before. Why is it poking along like that? Can't you make it go any faster? 
This is flank speed, Mr. Crane. You're just going to have to be patient. Don't you tell me what I have to be. Just destroy that damn information. Soon. I swear, it'll all be gone soon. As long as the power doesn't come back on, we'll be fine. Are you sure, Eve? Are you sure there's no reason to keep Chad, me, or Whitney from finding out the test results? Yo, Coach, can you come here a second? Did you hear what he said, Grace? Tell him everything, Eve. You have to. Here goes. It's booting up. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Now you're going to find out who your parents are. I was so sure you two had it, true love, and then you two would be together. That doesn't mean anything. Certainly, it was just a noodle, that's all. I mean, just because it broke, it doesn't mean we're not going to be together forever. It just it means it was overcooked. We needed it al dente, Sally. Al dente. You should be worried, Sheridan, because not only will you and Luis not be together forever, you two aren't even going to be alive. Because your brother Julian is going to kill you. Julian Crane. So black with evil. Kill your sister Sheridan. You stinking little weasel. <laughs> oh. Oh. Kill Louise. Kill Sheridan. 